Hello, and thanks for joining us for another drawing session. The weather is warming up and it's starting to get to feel like summer, but I have something totally different in my head today. I want to teach you to draw an animal that really likes cold weather. Um, this animal likes to slide on its belly on the ice, and this animal likes to eat fish, and it's mostly black and white. Do you have any guesses? I want to teach you how to draw a penguin today. Won't that be fun? All right, let's learn how to draw our penguin. All right, friends, let's get started with our penguin. The first thing you need is a piece of paper. And I would actually recommend using white today because penguins are white, but you can use any color that you want. Maybe you have a fun, fancy, colorful penguin. Then you need either a pen or a pencil or a crayon or a marker, something that you feel comfortable drawing with. I like to draw with markers. And you'll notice my paper is horizontal. That means it's kind of going the long way. All right, take your marker or pencil and in the middle of your paper, you are going to draw a circle. The circle will be your penguin's head. So draw your circle there. And next we want to draw your penguin's body. So it'll look like this. We're going to start at the bottom of your circle head and we'll make a long U shape. And we'll make sure the top of the U comes right back up to your circle. And if you'll notice my U shape gets bigger at the bottom and then smaller at the top. Good. We have your penguin's head and body. Now we're going to draw your penguin's feet. So I'm going to go kind of on the side of the bottom and I'll draw a line going diagonal and down, almost like it's going to the corner of your paper. And then about, about a knuckle away, I'm going to draw another line going out. Now I'm going to make a W and a V. W and a V for your penguin's feet. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Start with my line going down and out, almost like it's going to the corner of my paper. And then a little ways down, draw another one. And I'll make a W and a V. Now my penguin has feet. Good. Now we're going to make your penguins wings or arms. So do you see where the head and the body meet? I'm going to start from that point and I'm going to make a curvy line going down and out like that, kind of like a sideways hill. And then come back up again. The tip almost looks like the letter V. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm going to start where the head meets the body and I'm going to make a curvy diagonal line like a hill. And then I'll come back up and the tip here will be like the letter V. All right, looks good. Now in the middle of my circle head, I want to draw a triangle for my penguin's beak. And the point of my triangle will be down. So I'm going to do a straight line and then down for his beak. And we need two penguin eyes. So make your circle eyes like that. 
And if you want, you can do a small circle in the corner. And then we'll leave that small circle white and we'll color in the rest. There. Now we're going to do the belly of your penguin. So kind of where that top line of your penguin's foot or flipper meets the body, that's where we're going to start. We're going to make a hill and have it stop over here where the top of the other foot meets the body. And it will look like there's a circle belly. So I'll start here and I'm going to go up and around and then I'll end over here. And we need to make our penguin's face have that kind of black line. So I'm going to start in the corner of my circle and I'm going to go down and meet with the beak. Like that. And same on the other side, kind of in the corner of the circle and down to meet with the beak. That looks good. Now, if you want, you can leave your penguin like this, or you can dress your penguin for the cold, cold weather. Let's see, we could add a scarf. So that means right here, kind of on the top of your penguin's body, we're going to add another line that kind of bends, kind of goes along with the bottom part of your circle head. And then we'll add lines going down. This will be like your penguin scarf. And then we can do a line down and over and down, almost a rectangle, but the top is kind of slanted. And then we're going to make more lines for stripes. And then we'll do another one over here. This one will go diagonal over and diagonal again. And we'll do more stripes. And then at the bottom, we can add the fringes. Some more lines. Now your penguin's wearing a scarf. And if you want to add earmuffs to your penguin, we can pretend he's got ears over here and we can draw a circle or an oval. And another oval over here next to his eyes. And then connect them with a semicircle. Now it looks like your penguin has earmuffs and he's ready for the cold. You could also add the letter M, maybe two of them, and then this could be your penguin's crazy hair. Good. And penguins like to play in the water. So we can pretend that this guy is on an ice block in the water. So I'm going to draw a big oval around him like that. And on the side, I draw two lines and then I'll go down again. So now it looks like he's on a big chunk of ice. And then in the back, I'm going to draw some waves. Just like that. And if I want, I can add more waves in here. Good. And I am just about done. I just need to color. But before I color, I want to write my name in the corner here, like every good artist. There. If you want, you can add some clouds, some sun, maybe a rainbow. Add some detail to your background and then we can color. 